You owe me a truck. You have to understand it's for your own good. It's out of our hands. I feel fine. I'm staying. We will not be held responsible. It's been 10 minutes. Blow the whistle. If anything happens to my family, convince me. I want to hear you say it. You know what? Yep, keep it you going. This. Hey, Claudia. Paul. Are you guys home? Your test, right? Yep, your sea salt, right? That's right. It's been a long time. Almost didn't recognize you at first. Well, I haven't been around much lately. Hey, don't you do that web series for the daily news uh, behind the scenes? On the scene. Yeah, yeah. my wife loves that show. Really? She wants to be on it. She's a real fashionista. Uh, I thought you two broke up. We did. So what are you doing here at 9.30 in the morning? Eating cereal? You didn't move in here, did you? Oh, no. Of course not. No. I just invited her over for um, Raisin Bran. Mm. <laughs> Raisin Bran. Well, you know uh, how to treat a lady, Claudia. Mm. So is there any particular reason for this morning's visit besides critiquing my taste in breakfast cuisine? Yes. Uh, do you have any idea what day of the month this is? June 14th, which is Flag Day. Fairly obscure holiday. Did I win something? <laughs> Very funny. It's the middle of the month, mi amigo. Your rent was due two weeks ago, and it's the sixth month in a row that you've been late. Sea salt, look. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Claudio, but... just be straight with me. Do you have the money or not? Today? No. All right. This is nothing personal. I happen to like you. I mean, I think you're a nice guy. But I can't allow you to live here if you cannot pay your rent on time. I don't care how you get the money. Borrow it from your parents. Rob a fucking bank for all I care. But pay your rent on time. Got me? I will have it to you by the end of the week. All right. You all have a fine and dandy day. Uh, that is an envelope with your name on it. Oh, well, can I open it? I would actually prefer if you didn't. It's a check to me for Paul. I was planning on giving it to you as soon as I had the other half of the rent in it. Okay, well, anything is better than nothing. What the fuck? What the fuck? Number 30,957,977. Our records indicate your cause of death to be adenocarcinoma. One word, honey, no dash. Cancer. That we file under suicide. I am not a suicide. Were you a smoke? Did it give you cancer? Suicide. I need a fucking cigarette. Uh -uh. There's no smoking up in here. Fucking smokers. Next. Uh, where's the bathroom? Damn it. 
You're in the wrong fucking line! I'm... I'm sorry. But you can it! Next! You must be here for a reason. Well, what am I doing? Form 2316A. Fill it out. It is all there in black and white. Where am I? The department. The department of what? The department of lost souls. The DLS, if you prefer. Of lost souls. That's what I said. But I'm not. Did? Yeah. <laughs> Did I just give you form 2316A? Yes. And you're dead. You are here to be assessed. Assessed. By me. Assessed for what? Everyone makes mistakes. No matter what they are, there must be atonement. There must be a balance. I see. I'll take that back now. How'd I do? Did you know that there was a little girl in that car, Amber? Of course you don't remember. No. Hmm. Of course you don't. And you didn't think you'd get caught either. What? Oh no. It's not a problem. You had it all under control. Oh my god. And you've done it before anyway. Oh my god. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? No. You have been assessed and found to be disgraceful. There is an opening. A baby boy is about to be born to a widowed mother. Hurry, through there. Thank you.